So here's a quote. I do love fruit, but doesn't seem right to have to eat so much. Here's the mentality we get in society. It's sort of like, when it, like we go to McDonald's, right, and you get a burger, you get a packet of fries, you get a drink. So you've got three items, really. And then when you go to the raw food lifestyle, the fruit thing, which is the healthiest way of the raw food lifestyle, hands down, you get like a, you know, you get a box of bananas. So you're getting, you know, a lot of bananas here. And you'll sit down, you'll eat like, you know, 10, 20, 50, 30 bananas, 40 bananas maybe. And people go, oh, that's so much. Yet, when you look at the caloric content, it's very little compared to our standard fast food or standard meal that we, we've eaten all our lives. Which, which fits on just one little plate, when it's like, you know, 1,000, 2,000 calories in one little plate. If that was some fruit, it would be like, the plate would be this big, you know? <laughs> so, we've got to get over this whole paradigm that it's good to eat less, this anorexic mentality. Let's just fuck it off, yeah? Let's just get rid of that. Life is about abundance. It's about eating as much as you can fit in your stomach. Just eating, stuffing it in. Stuff slow, but stuff it in. Look at animals. You don't see an animal like picking around like, okay, I feel guilty eating this much food. This is too much. You don't see them picking around. They fucking golf it down, man. Like you'll see a spider will tackle a fly like almost twice its size and body length. Or a big cockroach or something like that. You'll see a scorpion taking out a massive roach and just be wrestling with it, you know. It's like grabbing a, a fruit the size of your body and just wrestling with it until you get it off the tree and then you eat it. There's no calorie restriction in nature ever. There's no calorie restriction. If you calorie restrict in nature, you die. If you're a bear and you, know, you stuff yourself and get enough calories for the hibernation winter, you die. If you eat. People do like to say there's calorie restriction in nature and it's like, where the fuck is it? I've spent so much time in nature looking. I'm an avid bird watcher, a spider hunter, whatever. I've never ever seen calorie restriction. All that happens when you calorie restrict is you fuck up. And when you calorie restrict on the, on the healthy foods, like the fruit, you're gonna fuck up big time. When you calorie restrict on fruit, and you're trying to do the raw food lifestyle, you're gonna fuck up. You're gonna be one of these bloggers or YouTubers or whoever go, oh, I tried that fruit thing and I ate like a few bananas and uh, they ate so little they lost their fucking sex drive. Can you imagine how much you have to abuse yourself to lose your sex drive as a male? Can you imagine how much anorexic habits you have to have to lose your sex drive as a male. Now that's something wrong in the raw food lifestyle when people are starving themselves so much to have like some purity mindset where they're losing their sex drive and they think that's healthy. That's not healthy, man. You gotta have a you gotta have vitality, yeah? You gotta have vitality. When you're starving yourself and your performance is going down, your sex drive's going down, something's wrong. Eat more food. Don't be a fucking anorexic. And don't be an orthorexic going, well, less food's better, car restriction, blah, 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 blah. You know, like, I won't mention any names there, but you know what I'm talking about. Life is about abundance. Mother Nature, when you think about it, how would Mother Nature want us to eat less fruit? There's, there's no possibility. When you eat fruit, you shit out the seed or you throw the seed away, and another tree grows. We need trees on the planet. I mean, I might be wrong, maybe trees are bad for the planet, maybe we need to cut down the trees so we can have more, more grass-fed animals so we can fuel the whole paleo primal fad diet industry. That's what some people are saying, let's cut down mess of the trees and grow grass to feed cows. And let's let all the kids in Uganda and Rwanda, let's let them starve to death. Let's, just, let's like vote for Coney 2012 or whatever, let's just f pretend all the starving kids don't matter. Let's eat our fucking grass-fed food, click like on Facebook and be a slacktivist. Great. Never calorie restrict, ever. And when you calorie restrict on fruit, you're in for bad news. And if you calorie restrict on potatoes or whatever, oh, I, I see people, I saw people out today exercising, and I'm thinking, these people have got no fucking hope. They've got no hope because what's going to happen, they're, they're training, right? They're trying to exercise, they're overweight, they're walking around up and down the mountains, they're overweight, they're going to be burning up so many calories, they're going to get so hungry, they're not going to want to eat fucking baked potatoes and bananas. They're going to want to have fucking donuts and Big Macs and fatty, greasy stuff like that. They're going to want to have T-bone steaks and full cream, full fat dairy. Because they're going to be so fucking hungry with those high calorie, cancer, heart disease, obesity promoting foods. They're not going to want to have a, a bloody baked potato or a fucking a mango sliced with lettuce. Are you kidding me? Do you know how much effort it takes to haul that fat ass up a hill? Let's say they do get the paradigm of, wow, mangoes are really healthy. They'll have like 
a handful of mango. Well, I'm overweight. I've been a car on the strip, so I'll get to my ideal weight. And then they're just fucking off the wagon a few days later, a few hours later, whatever, a few weeks later. This just doesn't work. You cannot restrict your calories. There is no calorie restriction in nature. There's no lack mentality. Like, you just eat as much as you can. Just make sure it's the good shit. You don't need to eat less. You just need to eat right. So when people say, oh, that's too much fruit. It's like you got no fucking idea. And when you get an idea, you realize it's not too much fruit. It's enough fruit. There's no such thing as too much fruit. Anyone that says you're going to eat too much fruit, they just don't understand. They just do not understand. It's like telling a, a cow, um, you know, you're eating too much grass there. Or it's like telling a tuna, you're eating too many sardines, tuna. You should cut a restrict so you can swim less and the shark can fucking eat you. It's just the mentality people like, I just don't understand it. You know, like people just trying to starve themselves for some whatever reason. It's like they just, they're caught in this lack of mentality. Like, I've got to starve, I've got to starve, I've got to starve. Like, you know, it's purity and... It's like, man, fuck that shit, man. You can't get fat on fruit. I put the I put the reward out there. No one's ever taken it. Ten thousand dollars. Don't talk. Show me. Show me the fatty. I'll show the money. Show me the chubby. I'll show the money. Put the blog links down below. Don't talk. Don't troll. Whatever. Put the blog links down below, please. Email them to me. Show me where are the fat fruit eaters long term. Can't happen. Won't happen. Never has happened. End of story. If it's too much fruit then it's enough fruit. Thanks for watching.